Have you ever wanted to know what it would be like to be a first responder to the 1986 nuclear disaster in Chernobyl? Yeah, me neither, but there's a simulation game for everything these days, and that's why we're going to be checking out Chernobyl Liquidators Simulator. This is the demo for the game. It's coming out soon, and yeah, I've been following a little bit, so I'm kind of excited to see if it's any good or not. I'm going to do exactly that now. Damn, what an intro. I can't tell if this is a movie or not. This is insane. All right, so we're 15 hours before. There was an explosion at the main building. Are there people there? Oh my god, this is... I'm intrigued already. I'm actually getting excited just by the introduction. Oh god. Oh, this looks so good. I'm actually pumped right now. So yeah, I don't know much about how they reacted to the Chernobyl incident. So I think this is going to be very much a learning experience, which I'm totally cool with. I don't know how accurate it is, by the way. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll see and find out as we go about this. But yeah, clearly we have a little bit of issues over here. This is Lieutenant Pravik. Something serious has happened at the power plant. There's a huge outbreak of fires all around the block four building, including the top roofs. It is also obvious the structure is partially collapsed. As we speak, the dispatcher is calling all units here, but we're the first on the scene. We need to find out what is going on. So approach the building by breaking through the fire. Use your hose connected to the cylinder on your backs. This will allow you to get to the power plant quickly. Oh my god, this is, this is actually a beautiful game. Usually when it comes to these demos, I don't expect much, but this is... Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm looking at, if I'm honest. But I kind of like that I have, like, this little compass on the top. Small details, man. All right, so we got to probably extinguish this right in front of us. Be careful, these fires are hotter than we expected. Handling of this situation relies on us, though. So don't forget about your safety. Carefully watch your steps by lighting the headlamps on your helmets. All right, so we also need a gas mask. Um, and the gas mask when approaching a heat source to increase your protection against them. Okay, so let's throw in that gas mask, I guess. There we go. Yeah, stamina is way down, but now I should be a little safer. Oh, this doesn't go as far as I thought. Didn't expect to be a fireman today, but I guess that's a big part of this. Is this, is this off? Okay, this is off now. Oh, wow, you can actually keep it partially open, so it's like an actual valve. Okay, I, I am way impressed with this. I know we haven't done much yet, but this is... This is beautiful. All right, looks like we can refill our water supply here, so let's do that. Dude, the animations are so good. All right, so now our hose is filled again. I wonder if those valves on it actually uh, show us how much there is left. Do I have to go in there? I'm not really too excited about that. Uh, it wants me to collect a shovel right now. Okay, we'll grab that. Yep, that's a shovel. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Are you looking at a tire right now? I don't think that's a big problem. You're the mobile unit today. This large tank you are carrying everywhere on your back is a testament to that. We're putting all our forces into fighting the large fires that are on the front of the collapsed northern wall of block four. These don't give up easily, but I'm sure we'll manage to contain them. In the meantime, we need you to enter the fire area from the western side, get all the way towards the block's wall and put down the smaller flames that are lingering there. It's a dangerous task, yada, 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 but I'm ready to do it, damn it. I'm supposed to go literally up there? 
I thought I was going... Am I going through here? Okay, yeah, I think I can get through this way. Perfect. Can you feel that metallic taste in your mouth? Something strange is going on. Kabinko fainted. Agantinko. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, but these names are hard. It's barely standing. There's something very wrong with this fire. Yes, we are all going to die, if not now, in a very short future. God, it's so sad that this is actually real. Okay, is that, is that ra radiation affecting my vision already? I don't know if I'm supposed to put this out yet. Cl clearly, I am. Uh, do I want to go up there with the fire going like crazy? I think I should conserve my water. So what do I do? Just climb this? Okay. Well, this isn't horrifying. The damn hoses look like fire themselves. Okay, let's go try and stick away from the fire. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? Oh, here I am trying to think I have to go further. It wants me to get out. Great, just while I'm almost dead. All right, I had to take my gas mask off to heal myself. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but let's just get down as quickly as possible. I have one med kit left, so I think I'll save that one. That didn't heal me as much as I was hoping for. Good job putting out those fires, brother. This should make life easier for the hose teams. We managed to establish a temporary command center and supply storage. Come over. We'll have new orders for you to pick up. Okay. All right, I think this dude's lost his mind. He's talking to a valve. Comrade, we still don't know what happened, but it appears the fire has caused major damage to the building structure. We did quite a good job evacuating everyone, but some of the technicians have been cut off in the attic just below the huge cooling chimney at the very top. Power plant's crew has already attempted to reach them from block three's side, but were unable to succeed. This is where you come in, comrade. Dude, I'm doing all the hard jobs. We all know you're the best at getting through da damaged spaces, so we need you to climb the main building all the way to the cooling stack's roof along the way through any obstacles using all means necessary. When on the place, assess the evacuation routes and make contact. We'll plan on how to get you all out. Okay, I am going to die today. I, I am sure of that now. I don't know if this guy's rapping or what the hell he's doing, but he uh, seems a little frustrated. Okay, collect all the tools. Great. Wire cutters and a crowbar all i need i guess all right well it was nice living well i did uh because now i have to go up dude this is if this is exactly what happened these guys are seriously heroic am i, am I supposed to climb this it's already broken great okay yep that's exactly how we do it uh oh uh oh oh my god this is like a movie in a game. It's so good. Oh, I don't like this now. I thought I thought the ladder would be safe at least. I haven't gotten to the roof yet. Hello? Well, it looks like one's dead, that's for sure. Or passed out. All right, let's just keep going. They'll be fine. See, I don't know if I should make jokes with a game like this. This is obviously very serious, guys. But when I get concerned about things, I, I turn to jokes. So I'm sorry. Yes, wipe those eyes off. Oh my god, this game is insane. I'm so pumped! Let's get in, let's save lives, damn it! Okay, kill the fires. Kill the fires. I never heard it worded that way, but sure. And get to onto the ledge. Probably throw that gas mask back on. That would be smart. Oh, it's very hard to tell when you're getting hit by fire, by the way. It, it, the radius in this is insane. So I'm gonna try and stay back a little bit. Use my... See, I just died, I think. This is one of those hardcore games I'm not going to be very good at, I guess. Problem is, I don't know when my water goes out, so I don't want to waste it either. Oh, I'm, I'm taking damage. Okay, you know what? I just got to really watch the health bar. And by health bar, I mean the non-existent one now. Okay, yeah, definitely standing way further back than I thought is the way to do it. I mean, it makes sense. A firefighter doesn't go right up on it when they're trying to put it out. It's looking like I'm pushing it back a little bit. I just wish it kind of gave me a, bit, a better warning on how much water I have left. I think I got it all. Radiation is hitting me quite well. That's okay. My job's to put out fires, not radiation. At least yet. All right, put out that one. Kill the fires and grab onto the ledge. Uh, okay, I think we did everything there. Oh, God, I'm actually nervous in this game. Med kit. So I got a little bit of meds. Good. I should probably do that now while, while, while we're safe. Keep one for later, but let's try and keep that health bar up a little bit. A lot of fire down there. Don't know if I need to get down there. All right, I don't think I can put that out. I think it's too big. I gotta get onto that ladder, though, so I might actually need to put this out. All right, stay back, stay back. Put it out quick. Might have took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay. I can't tell how far I'm shooting. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would be the worst fireman. So the one thing I am learning is you kind of hear this steam noise when you land on the fire with the water. So I think that's all I got to listen to. There we go. I think I put out the main fires. Now we just got to get onto the ladder and not die. All right. Last time I almost died to rocks. Hopefully this time that doesn't happen. Oh, dude, this is honestly... Oh. Well, shit. Okay, this time don't be an idiot and fall off the ledge. What am I supposed to do from here, though? I did go sideways. Oh, I see, I, I see what you're doing. Okay, we're doing some parkour. Dude, this is not safe. I don't know why I expected it to be safe, but yeah, typical Russia. Okay, well, I guess we'll refill. I don't didn't use much, but can always use it. Why is this right here, by the way? This is like the most conveniently placed water reservoir that no one would ever use. Except me in this situation. The simple way up is impossible. Of course, I, I, I've noticed. So you have to take the longer route, comrade. Move across the top of the northern block wall and reach the western supplementary wing. It seems mostly intact and should contain a staircase leading you all the way to the roof. Okay, so we got to extinguish fire and jump to the others. Am I jumping from here? What the f... I'm going to die regardless of the fire, man. This is an insane jump. It was nice knowing you. It's time to die. Oh my God. That is, oh, dude, this is insane. I am, I thought we'd just be going in, you know, trying to save lives. I mean, I guess we're technically doing that, but I didn't expect it to be this insane to get inside. All right, let's climb that. Uh oh, 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 radiation, I think. I should probably get out of here. Actually, it's not damaging me. It's just a little staticky, you know? When the vision goes staticky, you know things are probably affecting you. All right, so now we just gotta, you know, figure out our way in. No big deal. I'm not, like, 200 feet up. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I gotta jump down here, possibly. Yeah, we got an access point, kind of. Dude, my health is already so low. Ah, that's what the shovel was for. I was like, why, why do we need a shovel? That being said, we had a crowbar. Wouldn't a crowbar be better? <laughs> I ain't gonna question it. You're the professional, sir. All right, you know what? I think it's time to use that other med kit. I don't know how hard it's gonna get out there, but I may as well use it if I got it. Okay, going inside. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, we are probably gonna die even if we succeed here, bud. Just, just, be, just be the hero you're supposed to be. Uh, oh my god, I cannot see. Okay, there's something to do with this. Am I supposed to break this? Yes! Am I punching it? Dude, what, 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 what? You have a crowbar! Okay, well, that was actually convenient. Sick. Dude, the, the level design in this? I am impressed. This is insane. And where the hell do I go from here? I'm, I'm, I'm claustrophobic in real life, and I'm kind of feeling it now. I don't really know. Am I supposed to pull this down? Oh, you know what? It's probably outside here. I just got to duck. Yeah, there we go. Definitely don't want to walk into fire, though. So we'll put that out. Stand up if we can. I think we're too tight in here. There we go. Now now I can stand up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't realize that fire would affect me. Damn it. All right, you have to put out every piece of fire. Okay. That is a nice looking door. I feel like this is where they could be, possibly. Let's see if we can get inside. Is it going to be easy? Oh, thank God. I was worried to be jammed. No, oh, it's not looking good in here. It is not looking good. Why would you close the door? I mean, I, I guess you don't want fire to spread, but I feel like we might get stuck in here. Oh, my God. The, the amount of radiation that must be around me is insane. Am I, am I actually dying now? No! No! Okay. Hold on. Dude, this is too real. This is too freaking real. <gasps> no, did I die? No, you can't end there, dude. I am so intrigued now. I mean, that was a quick demo, unfortunately. I thought we'd be more on the inside. I'm still showing this to you guys anyways, because I am so pumped for this. So yeah, unfortunately, a little bit of a short one, guys, but I will definitely be following this game as it is being developed. I want to see what happens once we get inside, because uh, that outside sequence alone was amazing. Again, sorry this episode's going to be so short, but that's the uh, downside of coming to these games a little bit early. But you guys seem to love it uh, when we check these out early as well. 
So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys as pumped as me about this game? Uh, Cause I gotta say with that first little introduction, I'm really intrigued. It was actually a difficult game too, which is nice. Usually these simulators are just experiences and they don't actually challenge you much. This one already had a lot of challenges. So yeah, I had a blast playing it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.